All right, I'm going to go ahead and continue my discussion of flow charting. The next symbol we're going to cover here is the manual input. This is where you're prompted to put in some information. So let's say uh, a special box is put up on your uh, screen. It suddenly pops up, boom, and it says, all right, uh, type in a word. Okay, let's just say you have a box that appears on the screen and says type in a word. So you type in uh, car goes down here and says, all right, did they type in the word boat? If not, go over here and say, that's not the word boat. Ends the process. If they did type in the word boat, say they type boat right here, they would go over here, and as you can see, here's the connector. Now, the connector takes you over here. This process would display a picture of the boat. This process right here would put on the... Uh, You'd have a picture of a boat, and this process right here would display the words, this is a boat, and it would stop the program. So one more time, we have a starting point in the program. It immediately displays a box on the screen that says, uh, type in a word. You type in car, it'll come down here say, well, car is not boat, so it'll go over here and it'll display a message that says, this is not a boat. Program ends. If up here you type in the word boat, it'll come down here and say, well, it is a boat. So it'll go over here, up here, it'll display a picture of the boat, then it'll display the words, this is a boat, and stop. And that's how that works. All right. I will tell you more in my next video, so stay tuned.